everybody. It's my pleasure indeed and honor to invite you all to this virtual exhibition uh, organized uh, in under the aegis of uh, World Federation of Zervas Art Club and the UNESCO Clubs of Art and, and of Letters, Akea, um, by the Delhi NCR chapter of the Zervas Art Club. Vincent van Gogh has once said, I dream of my painting and then I paint my dream. So people, all, all of us artists who love to paint and who love to create and play around the canvases is indeed a special pleasure. I have had the, 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 the honor and the delight uh, to assemble 17 amazing artists who have come together under the title of the exhibition Confluence of Expressions organized and curated by Anupama Trigunayat, uh, that is me, uh, the president of uh, the Zervas Art Club Delhi NCR chapter. Uh, this exhibition will be online forever. As you know, virtual exhibitions never go away. But uh, the official dates are as announced from March 10th to March 14th, 2021. The, the artists coming here together have used their creativity and the result and the outcome is an amazing amalgamation of colors from sculptures to canvases, from detailed pencil sketches to uh, detailed handwork. This is indeed a treat to watch. I hope you enjoy and taking out the time uh, to view this exhibition as much as I have uh, enjoyed um, collecting it and putting it together. Uh, the work of artists not only depicts um, various art forms and techniques and um, whatever the artist, whatever is going on in the artist's mind at that point of time, but also you have artists who just paint for charity, you have artists who lo paint lovely portraits, you have um, especially abled artists who are multi-talented, ambidextrous. It's just amazing to watch them work. So we've tried to keep it all together, uh, keeping in mind the time. Uh, enjoy your journey with the exhibition Conference of Expressions by Delhi uh, Zervas NCR chapter. The first artist we are presenting is Mr. A. Murgesan. He resides in Chennai in India. He has been painting for last over 20 years and watercolor is his chosen medium. Uh, and he is mostly painting landscape paintings, uh, living abroad and uh, traveling to various countries around the world. His uh, inspiration, as he says, comes from nature uh, and from the blue skies, the seas, and for all, almost two decades, he's been exhibiting abroad and in India. A. Murgesan. The next artist is Mrs. Anuradha Malik from Bangalore, India. She's a well-known and acclaimed artist whose body of work actually expands uh, in mixed media, oil, pencil sketches, collages, tanjore paintings, and uh, much more. She has been uh, an active member in art groups and has exhibited in galleries abroad and in India. She's a very senior artist and has had the honor of also doing solo exhibitions in Dubai and Sharjah and other places in USA and other places. Her work is indeed very colorful 
and reflects uh, the colorful personality of the artist. The next artist is Mr. Arun Khazanchi. To quote him, if you can't find your purpose, find your passion. It may lead you to your purpose, as someone said. He is a self-learned painter. He is interested in a lot of old uh, masters, classical realism. He does a lot of portraits and he only paints for charity. And uh, all his work and the proceeds go in feeding the underprivileged and providing education. The next artist is Mrs. Chandani Mathur. She has been painting for over two decades. Uh, she has uh, lived in Italy for a very, very long time. And her work um, is inspired by the Expressionist era. Uh, uh, and she also does sculptures. She uses acrylic mediums and oil mediums. And uh, she does portraits in oil and landscapes. And she's very fond of doing pottery. So a multi-talented artist, Ms. Chandni Mathur. <clears throat> the next artist is uh, Mrs. Josna Mukashi. She is a self-taught artist. Uh, and has had the privilege of traveling uh, frequently all over the world. She's also had, uh, has lived abroad in different countries. And uh, according to her, her inspiration and experiences from the multicultural ethos she has experienced uh, inspire her to do her detailed, colorful work. She works with acrylic and oil mediums. And she also specializes in contemporary as well as tribal art. Kavita Gandhi Vick. Um, uh, her work is very interesting because um, she works, she has had work with uh, tribal art. She has worked with acrylics and oil. And uh, the, the three works that she's presenting here um, is actually um, on with pencil on paper, very intricate designs. And the inspiration comes from simple patterns of nature and and uh, gets reflected and of course uh, it is abstract and very intense she thinks she feels that bringing life and texture to the ordinary is what i do as an artist 
quote unquote. Mostly it adheres to be an interaction of the intellect and the emotion. Mrs. Kavita Gandhi Wick. artist is Mr. Kishore Bindre. He is from Nigeria, originally from India. Hailing from a family of distinguished artists, Kishore discovered the naturally born artist in himself. He works with his favorite medium, watercolors, and he excels in drawing and sketching. He is also an, uh, he's a musician and an avid drummer. He, uh, his aesthetically pleasing work uh, is not only pictorial, but actually truly very realistic and outstanding. Mr. Kishore Bindre. This is Miss Nand Lulla. She is a young interior designer by profession and uh, a wonderful, brilliant artist. I have had the pleasure of seeing her work personally. Um, to quote, I love to create spaces and art that are happy. She creates ab uh, abstract art and she, ex she, ex she explodes and expresses with various mediums. Um, she plays around with her instinct. And the colors that she uses at the point of time she's creating her work, according to her, reflects the mood and the mindset and the thought process of the artist for that moment and for that day or for that time. Uh, her work is very colorful, very deep, and uh, she hopes that through her work uh, you may feel the depth and the colorful spirit behind it as well. Nain Lulla. The next artist is Niamat Mehta. Uh, she is a very young artist currently doing her course at the Florence Academy of Art. She is presenting two pieces of sculpture. Uh, she has been painting and has found her art and her creativity as a therapy. And she has done a bit of drawing and painting, but currently actively is pursuing uh, art of sculpture. Niamat Mehta. another senior artist. She currently resides in Singapore. She's originally from Delhi. Um, as she says, to quote, my art is an expression of my dreams, my world in bright hues. Uh, unquote. And according to the artist, her art is the inner journey, journey, a catalog of her subconscious being. And sometimes her artistic expressions are decoded months after the paintings she has made or is finished. Uh, she works with acrylic and oil mediums and her work has been ex exhibited in, in, in different uh, galleries. Uh, she is actively uh, pursuing her artwork even in, currently in Singapore, Parul Mehra.
next artist is Mrs. Rani Bilani. To quote her, what started as a hobby became my passion, unquote. Uh, she works on uh, with acrylic, with pencils and oil. And uh, as she says, her canvases is her way of communicating her story, uh, her, her thoughts, and sometimes also they reflect her personality. Um, I, I, I've tried to connect always with my work, not only with my viewers, but also my personal being, as she says. Um, she's a senior artist and is exhibiting four pieces, very interesting ones. Mrs. Rani Bilani. My next artist is Mrs. Richa Rao. She a spouse of a very senior diplomat. Uh, she has been uh, living around in different countries and is an upcoming artist who has been pursuing art for a very long time. For her, her art is a spiritual journey and she enjoys um, to highlight the beauty present in even the most mundane aspects of daily lives. She works with acrylic and oil and watercolor mediums and flows with the instinct, Mrs. Richa Rao. Next artist is Miss Samiksha Gupta, again a very young upcoming artist who has, who is actually a management background student and who transitioned into painting and art. She has a very, as she says, a very compulsively curious bend of mind which, le which led her to discover her own artistic expressions. She has a natural talent for painting. And she aspires to grow into an independent figure, figurative painter. And uh, she closely follows the Italian Renaissance and the French Impressionistic paintings. She is presenting 10 portraits. Her work is really amazing. Samiksha Gupta.
next artist is Suhani Vitika, differently abled, budding artist who specializes in sculpture and painting. She started painting at the age of 13 and she works, uh, besides doing sculpture, she works with oil and different mediums and her artwork is very detailed and always has a theme. A colorful presentation of Suhani Vitika. My next artist is Suruchi Arora Sachdeva from Amman, Jordan. She is a fashion designer by profession, but her keen interest in art and its different mediums has actually transformed her into an upcoming and a budding artist. Her art is generally inspired by culture and various forms. Uh, the pieces she is presenting are very colorful and traditional, and for her each art piece is like telling a story. Her, her canvases are driven by emotions and instinct and a passion for creating. Suruchi Aroda Sachdeva artist is Vinita Rathor. Um, she is a senior artist and she specializes and is amazing at uh, reproducing and creating still art and still pieces of, of even household objects onto canvases and giving them a new meaning and a new color. Um, she is uh, well received by her clients. She is a senior artist and an amazing work. Please do enjoy Vinita Rathor. Last but not the least, the next artist is Anupama Trigunai, and that's me. For me, I've been painting for over 25 years and my art was a very personal affair to me. Um, I work in abstract form of art and with acrylics and oil and mixed media. Uh, I, my work has been greatly influenced by international art because I've lived abroad for many, many years. I have had the opportunity the, the great opportunity to appreciate and also assimilate different traditions and techniques in the multicultural uh, ethos that I was uh, exposed to. My canvases are like an open book, a little story of my own, and I always hope that the, my viewers find their own connections with my work. So that was Confluence of Expressions. Hope you liked uh, the little virtual exhibition put together and the work of artists and uh, 
you know the the details and i hope you found your own connections and stories um please do follow us on uh, all the links given below facebook instagram uh, youtube etc etc and if you need uh, to contact you have my contact details anutribunayat at gmail.com and i look forward to seeing you with further events if you are an artist if you are an art lover do keep in touch see you soon